my family and I watched the launch from the beach on uh, north of, of the Cape, and I believe it's a Titusville beach. It was uh, very thrilling to see see the launch. It was, uh, I believe, almost a cloudless day. Might have been a few little clouds, but it was very thrilling to see that uh, that launch and the vapor trail going up. We moved from there to uh, to uh, Treasure Island. We were on vacation, and uh, for the moon landing and stepping out on the moon, we sat up late at night and watched it on television in the motel over at Treasure Island. It was, it was so thrilling because I, I was associated with the space program, and to think that this was the first time that man had set foot on the moon, and it, it was just, uh, a, you, you had an inside thrill from being associated with the space program. Well, in the 1960s, I was in the uh, instrumentation in the test lab, and uh, we started out, uh, I was on the Mercury Redstone at the old interim test stand, which is a historical landmark, I believe now, and we tested the Mercury Redstone, and uh, from there we went to uh, uh, actually monitoring Douglas out at Sacramento on the S-4 program. Uh, that lasted a few years and uh, then we, we actually did some RL10A3 tests with the liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen in uh, the test area just off Martin Road. The testing was very uh, exacting. The, the people that ran the test and the people that provided the instrumentation, which I was in, in on that, were demanding that everything be done right. And uh, that, that was one of the main things, is that you got the, the test right and you got the results right. Uh, at that time, uh, instrumenting something was, uh, I guess, archaic compared to what, what we have right now. But uh, uh, we got the results done back then, but it would have been easier had we had the more sophisticated computers and the uh, the sensors that they have today. Depending on the weather, but at times it, it shook things up. And of course, a lot of times I was in the blockhouse, which you, you got less results. But when you happen to be on the outside watching the testing, it, it really shook things up. And uh, I understand one time that actually Birmingham felt the uh, shock waves due to a temperature inversion or something like that that, that uh, funneled the uh, sound waves down to Birmingham. Uh, when we worked Skylab, one of the highlights of that is when we were having so many problems with, with the Skylab and uh, the meteoroid shield uh, ripped off and one of the solar rays ripped off and the other one was hung. Well, we, we worked around the clock uh, to try to come up with fixes and to train the astronauts on how to do it. And this place was inundated with uh, news media, like uh, Walter Cronkite, uh, Jules Bergman, uh, and many others. That was, was kind of thrilling, even though we worked ourselves to death. We, we got to see a lot of celebrity news people at that time. Well, the new goal was in the uh, early 70s, of course, with Skylab, and then the, uh, the shuttle came along, and I actually went into the space lab work and worked space lab for the, the remainder, space lab and space lab payloads uh, for the remainder of time that I was with NASA. And um, there was an awful lot of, of dedicated people trying to make every, every program that we worked on make it better. And uh, it, it was just a, a thrill to be able to work with some of the people we met astronauts uh, from Houston, and we, we had the uh, people from Europe on the uh, space lab, and it was very thrilling to meet with those folks and learn how they do business and, and work with them. Well, from my standpoint, I believe it was, was the, uh, the goal to reach the moon, and, and there was an awful lot of dedicated folks working at Marshall and around the country at that time. And I, 
I really uh, am proud to be a part of that team, and uh, it's it's very thrilling to to know that that uh, Marshall had a great uh, part in the role of Man on the Moon. Being a part of the programs that uh, that has so much uh, help to the nation as a uh, uh, forerunner, I guess, in in the space program for the U.S. We I understand was behind the Russians at first, and then I think we, we jumped way ahead of them in the space program. And being a part of the buildup of the, the Apollo program and, and doing the testing and that sort of thing, it was, it was really something, and, and I'm very proud of those days.